You ready for IHOP, dude? It's a nice camera. Thanks, bro. Here at IHOP. Did you guys notice they changed the logo? It's a smiley face. I got you, dude. Mm. Packers for pancakes, bro? Yeah, man. I'm gonna get three pancakes. You can get three? I'll get four. Guys, so I just got done tracking. We're gonna do the chicken fajita omelette with four buttermilk pancakes. What are you gonna do, Omar? I'm gonna do the uh, sirloin tips and eggs. Um, no hash browns. I'm gonna ask for extra pancake with egg white. Damn. Damn, dude. Cut life, guys. Cut life. Last meal of the day. So instead of egg substitute, they gave me egg whites. I thought those were the same things, but I guess not. So we're doing that. Four pancakes with sugar-free syrup. So yummy in the tummy, guys. Hey, let me show you guys what my, oh my God. Sirloin tips and eggs, egg whites, pancakes. You guys remember down. always, just only the tip. <laughs> only the tip. <laughs> 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 I just threw that all into my pancakes. Finish the omelette. <laughs> <laughs> on to the pancakes. Dude, I'm so freaking full. You think I can finish this? Yeah, I believe in you. If Omar releases really anything, you gotta do it. But he didn't say you won't. You won't. Watch me. Oh my gosh. I'm so full. How are you feeling? Cool. Yeah. Was it good though? It was delicious. Everford new tea that just came in. It's got, why doesn't it say Lifestyle X Performance at the bottom? Okay. <laughs> what, bro? Ape joggers. Always on fleek. And NMDs. Actually, I wore these already. I gotta change them. NMDs nuts. We swapped to the black. It's so cool, man. It's so nice. It's a really nice design, Max. Thanks, dude. Yeah, man. I actually made that. For the first time ever, I went into a program and I made that design. I know you did. I'm just saying. Good job, man. That's a nice camera, dude. Dude, you have a pretty nice camera, too, dude. Man. Are we going to get dual sick angles or what? Well, my angles will always be a little more flu-like than yours. So today is Chinese New Year's. And on Chinese New Year's, we do back. We do back with Mr. Max Tuning and Nicholas Nightingale. You ready for back, Max? Happy New Year, dude. Happy New Year, dude. Konnichiwa. Oh. <laughs> We're doing it. He's back. He has. He's not dead. He's actually here. What's up? It's just Z's here, dude. <laughs> it's fucking Z's, bro. There's no Z's, bro. Oh, dude. Ah! Muzzin, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're doing our first collab with Z's. <laughs> <laughs> you came back to visit us, Ziz. <laughs> That's <laughs> Did you stop lifting Z's? <laughs> there is no Z's. Tomorrow, bro. I'll give you more reason to buy now, bro. It's fucking That's how you get Z's, a static bro. motivation, bros. Everyone has a little bit of Z's in them. Every fucking cunt out there, you're a fucking sick cunt if you want to be, bro. Stop being a fucking sad cunt. Yeah, bro. you do. Every I single one of us. Okay, guys. Today's the day after my birthday. I ate all the macros yesterday. But I'm doing damage control. Because that's what you should do. You shouldn't do it. If your coach tells you to do damage control, you should. My coach didn't tell me. But I feel guilty. So I'm doing damage control. So what we're doing, or what I'm doing for the next like two or three days, is I'm gonna lower my carbs by 100 grams and probably like 20 fat, just for three days. But anyways, I have a guest here. He's doing an interview on me. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna link his channel at the bottom. And if you wanna watch the interview, if you're interested in what he's asking me, I don't know. I think we're doing it all raw. I don't know if he keeps any like everything in there or what he's gonna ask me so I have no I'm going into this interview not knowing what's gonna be asked so again I'll link his channel at the bottom you can go check out out you can go check it out if you want if not that's fine that's fine I won't be hurt he won't be hurt he might be hurt a little bit but just check it out all right bye so what I've had today so far because of all the food I ate yesterday 
one muscle monster smoothie. Have you tried that yet, Brian? I'll let you try one. I bought, I bought like three. One muscle monster smoothie and um, one can of monster muscle. So, like I said, guys, today is kind of like a damage control kind of thing. My coach did not tell me to do damage control, but I'm going to do it. This guy here, Bowtie, has competed. He knows all about damage control because he... He was like a couple, you were a couple weeks out from your show, right? Mm -hmm. And what, what did you do? I wasn't a couple weeks, I think it was like a month. A month out. He went out on a family trip and just went ham on everything. He, I remember getting, I got a message from him. I'm like, yo, cause he, uh, cause during the time, cause when you, when you're going through prep, it's like really nice to have other people to talk to and kind of like get ideas from. So Bowtie and I were talking quite a bit like during his prep. Um, and he messaged me, he's like, dude, I asked him, I was like, dude, how, how's the thing going? He's like, dude, I just killed like two rows. <laughs> he said like he killed like two rows of Oreos. He's like, and I can't stop. And I, I, I pretty much told him the same thing Danelle told him because Danelle was prepping him at the time. I was like, dude, just like enjoy yourself with your family because you know, you're not always with your family like that because I think he said it was a big family gathering and just come back and like do some damage control. He came back, lowered all of his macros for like probably like a week, right? Probably like a week, and then he did cardio like every morning, like Stairmaster. I think he told me like an hour for like three or four days. So yeah, guys, if your coach doesn't tell you to do it, you don't have to, but if you're feeling guilty, let's go ahead and do damage control. And of course, gotta hold myself accountable to taking creatine every day, so let's do that. So we're gonna use one scoop of Ghost Amino. Again, if you guys ever are interested in trying the Ghost uh, BCAs, right here, you can use the code MAX. I think he gets 20% off. So you can use the code MAX. Save you some dollar dollar bills. Cause saving money is always cool, right guys? Yeah, bro. You need a chick like me to make you wanna leave them at the brunch with the cause it depends. Man, I be doing your hand. Watch with that you with that kid up on you, pop it and my room is in the pit. He watches my back. Alright guys, so we are almost through day one of damage control after my birthday. So, so far today, all I've had, let me check on my fitness pal here. So far today, I've only had a strawberry banana flavor smoothie from Muscle Milk, a Monster Muscle, uh, and a Cookies and Cream Quest Bar. 20, sorry, 71 grams of protein, 68 grams of carbs, and 18 grams of fat. What I have left over for today 144 grams of protein, 232 grams of carbs, and 52 grams of fat left. So, as you can see, I still have a good amount of calories, or well, macros left over. I actually have, I mean, it says here I have around 2,000 more calories I can eat. What I think I'm gonna do is, I'm probably just gonna have a protein shake today, and then finish off with like, maybe like, egg whites and rice or something, to be honest. Uh, I'm not feeling that hungry because I still feel a little gross from eating yesterday. I Honestly, I didn't even eat that much. I just went out to like a Chinese restaurant and afterwards had some Nutella crepes and yeah, it wasn't even that bad, but I just, the progress was going so well that I, I don't want to backtrack too far, even though it's one day is not going to kill it unless you like absolutely go crazy with the macros, but Better safe than sorry, right? So let's just do that. Morning, guys. I don't really know how much of you, how much you can see of me. Um, I this is like my second day filming this. I filmed the Q and A. Actually, we we filmed the Q and A with Max's camera, but pretty much the same lens. So this is my first video using my new camera. It's really nice. Um, again, I want to thank all the guys at District Barbell. Um, I want to thank Max, of course, my girlfriend. I should probably thank my girlfriend first. Uh, my girlfriend, Max, Bowtie, Johnny, Omar, um, Danelle, Daryl, and Nick. Pretty sure all of them chipped in to help me get this cool camera setup, guys. The lens I got myself, they got me the body of the camera. Um, it's a Sony A7R two or is it s no i have the s because r is for photography so this is for more for video 
Um, but anyways, I figured for this video, what I'll do is my coach has been asking me to kind of write down my timing of like what I'm eating and all that stuff. And again, like I told you guys, you gotta be completely honest with your, with your coach, right? Uh, my coach is all about cooking at home, eating whole foods. Uh, he doesn't know that I'm pretty much eating out every day. Uh, I mean, my schedule is so crazy. I wake up, I go to sleep around like two or three. I wake up around 10. By the time I'm showered and out of the house, it's around 12 or one. I'll get to the gym around like two. Max will wanna, Max will get there and then we'll wanna get lunch. So that's pretty much what I've been doing. So for this video, it's, I think it's almost 12. I'll kind of do the same thing. Um, we'll do a, this will be a full day of eating. Peter Prep's first full day of eating. And I'll take you guys with me. And you know what, we'll, we'll throw in a little cool edits and all that stuff, cause like, who doesn't like cool edits and sick angles, right? I know I do. No, let's use my head. Pretty cool and interesting to film while driving. A little scary, sticking a four or five thousand dollar camera <coughs> out the window. Tropical smoothie cafe. So I think today what I'm gonna do is the rustic turkey apple club in my smoothie. I'm going to get. The muscle blaster. The peanut butter mix. The Splendor. So, first meal of the day, Tropical Smoothie Cafe. And, so what I got was a chicken apple club, Cheetos oven bake, and a muscle blaster, which is this protein shake here. That's made with Splenda. But I was looking at the macros for the chicken apple club, and it says it's 32 grams of fat. So I'm going to assume that there's like either mayonnaise or bacon inside of it. I'll let you guys see it. Thank you. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so first off we have a lot of bad sauce, which I'm probably gonna remove all of. I'm probably gonna remove the bacon and that's pretty much it. So I think what it is, is, oh, there's also cheese right here. So that's why it's 32 grams of fat. So what we're gonna do, or what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove all of it and then pretty much just have a plain tasting sandwich. All right guys, this is why it's 32 grams of fat. So they put cheese, they melt the cheese on it, but underneath the cheese is also like a Parmesan cheese. So I have to remove all of that. So guys, look. All right. So this is all the gunk I'm removing from my sandwich. And this is why it's 32 grams of fat. So you have to be realistic with your macros, guys. When you go out to eat, you always over track, but then you like, you gotta remove stuff like this. Like cheese with Parmesan underneath it. Oh, and the bacon. Finished up tropical smoothie. It's pretty good. I've been there. I there was like a time where I would pretty much go every day for work. Then I got sick of it, and then I was into macros, and I saw how much the smoothies were, like carbs, fat, and stuff, and it was not good. So I didn't go again. But now when I go, <clears throat> just always make sure you ask for Splenda, because if you don't get Splenda, you're pretty much adding almost 40 to 50 grams of carbs if you're just using normal sugar. So always ask for Splenda, guys, always. So after Tropical Smoothie, 
going to drink one of these very rare purple monsters. Let's try this. Tastes kind of, tastes kind of just like grape soda. That's my favorite one right now. I think this is my favorite one right now, guys. It tastes exactly like grape soda, but monster style and carbonated. That's good. Try it. I heard that you can only find it at um, Sam's Clubs, right? That's what yeah. What are we What are we doing this for? What the fuck is this? Um. We're gonna sacrifice someone tonight, dude. <sighs> is this a fire hazard? Dude, are you part of a cult? <laughs> are you vegan? Oh, the things people will do for YouTube, Max will do it. This is for IG, bro. I think this will be cool. Yeah. A little creepy, but cool, I guess. Uh, Max is doing some ritual for movement. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what they asked him to do, but he's doing something. The idea is to make like a funny post about how I have no girlfriend, uh -huh. but if you have a girlfriend, you can get her the sweet thing from movement, dude. See guys, I'm, I'm telling you, people don't understand how much Max loves doing this YouTube-ish. And Dude, these candles cool. are gonna like burn out before I even be able to do it. See, then I'm, I got- You wanna lay down and then us hand it to you? Yeah, but I got these like rose petals, dude. But I figure I set the mood with a good song. I'll turn it down though. <laughs> I don't have a girlfriend, but if I did, I'd be killing it right now. Like, imagine if this was in, like, a bedroom or something, man. With Lionel Richie playing? Yeah, but instead I'm in a gym with two dudes on a Dela platform. <laughs> That's, like, the same thing, right? Finish our photo shoot. Next. <laughs> it's for his Valentine's movement thing. Uh, yeah. I don't got anything else to say about this. Bro. Wax, all who are the... Is that good for deadlifting, or...? Do you think I'll be in here scraping that off? Damn. That's a lot of wax. Now you messed up the bench. So you messed up the bench <laughs> and our deadlift. No, I can get that off, dude. You don't even have a girlfriend and the fake girlfriend messed up something already. <laughs> We're gonna do this next. Um, Stefano from Mighty Meals wanted us to try his like, he does like a meal prep company. Um, the cool thing about this, put the macros on here. So this is gonna be pulled barbecue chicken. So. It's already on there guys, 410 calories, 50 protein, 43 crab, ha <laughs> ha, 43 grams of crabs, 5 grams of fat. Not bad at all. As you know, Mike Curtis and Yoni have moved on. Minute. Uh, smells good. Macros are on point, let's see how it tastes. We don't have... We don't have forks or spoons, so we gotta use chopsticks for today. So, let's try it. Thank you, Stefano, for the mighty meal. I'll put the macros on the screen so you guys can like add up all the macros throughout the day and then you guys can see the end result, how we get to it, so. 10 more grams of fat than just 23, because earlier at Tropical Smoothie, I did remove a lot of cheese and Parmesan cheese and a bunch of sauce and the pieces of bacon. So the meal said it was about, I think 32 grams of fat, but I probably removed more than 10 grams of fat. But my suggestion when you're cutting and you're going out to eat is you always over track. So I could probably, um, give myself like 15 or 20 grams of fat extra for all the um, cheese I took out from lunch. But I'm gonna play it safe and I'm only gonna give myself 10 grams of fat. So we'll see what I end up eating tonight. Just got done with my leg workout. So Max and I are trying to figure out what to eat. Max, you got you got enough macros for Pokeworks tonight, dude? <sighs> well, um, usually Peter never actually wants to eat with me. Um, so tonight, I was like, oh, I got a lot of carbs. I was like, you know, I and treat myself a little snack. So I had two servings of gummy worms because I was like, ooh, delicious. And as soon as I was done, 66 carb. Peter's like, hey, man, you want to get your food? I was like, 
That's queer. Just crushed all my carbs. Now I got 40 carbs left. But you have 50 fat, dude. I have 50 fat. Fun fact, you can kind of... I wouldn't recommend doing it every single day yeah, because it's, it's I think your body reacts differently to fat and carb. But you can kind of flippity-flop yes. and take the fat to put them in the carbs. <laughs> and then you take the carbs and put them in the fat. Um, Max got 50 fat left, right, guys? So fat actually has nine calories in it. Carbs and protein what? have no four. And, I mean, Max isn't really prepping for anything. He's not, like, close to any show. What he's gonna do is he's probably gonna move, I don't know, he, he could probably easily move 30 grams of fat and kind of disperse that through his carbs and protein. Cause at the end of the day, guys, losing weight, cutting, like cutting is all about calories in and calories out. Is that pretty dope, right? <laughs> salmon, salmon. So yummy. Nice dinner with my best friend. All right, what do you got, bro? Okay, bro. This might be the last meal of the day. I don't remember. So for this, I'm going to guesstimate it to be around like 65 to 70 carb, about 40 fat or 40 protein, and about like 20 to 25 fat. What'd you get in there, man? Tell the people. I'll tell them right now. I got ahi tuna, some salmon. Is it salmon or salmon? Salmon. Salmon? Yeah, yeah. Salmon, a bunch of veggies, and rice. Damn, that sounds great, dude. Enjoy it, man. All right, guys, we are here at Export. So I pretty much only have this gym membership so that I can do cardio at night because we don't have any cardio machines here and I really don't feel like doing ropes and stuff. So I'm going to see if they let me record a little bit of my cardio session. Uh, they're really strict on not filming at the gym anymore. So we'll see. That's why I have my backpack with me so I can just, if it's an issue, I'll just throw my camera in my backpack. Stairmaster is available. I waited like 15 minutes for that. Can't do any other cardio, okay? First 20 minutes, donezo. I'm gonna try to do another 40 minutes because I want to get rid. Of, I want to get done with this cardio. Time to kill two more 20 minute sessions at like level 15, which is like more than a little walk. But as you can see, we're getting some work done. All right, guys. So I just finished second portion. The cardio is done, but I don't know if I'm gonna do the third because. Like I said earlier, I did legs, and my quad is starting to cramp up really, really bad. But I'll try to finish in the next 20 minutes. I'll let you know if I do or not. Peter Preps fam, I failed you guys. I was like eight or 10 minutes into the third 20 minute session of my stairs, and my legs just started cramping up. Like I could not move my legs. Ah! So the macros that I have left, I think I said it earlier, we got about 65 carb, give or take about like 15 to 20 grams of fat left and 60 grams of protein. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm probably just gonna pick up something from the gym here. They sell a lot of like high protein snacks and all that stuff. So I'll show you guys what I get and I will end the video like showing you guys all the macros and all that stuff. Three awesome tricks. Three Ostrim sticks. And I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna do two servings, which is this entire cookie. Remember guys, always check the serving size and make sure you're tracking your macros right. So two servings of this cookie, which is the entire thing. Uh, let me give you guys a rundown of the macros for today, or well, yesterday. Uh, I hit 213 grams of protein. I have two left. Um, I hit 289 carb, so I got 11 left. And for the fat, I went over, so it was I got 84 grams of fat. I was supposed to hit 70, but again, guys, remember. So in my fitness pal, it says that I'm negative 14, right? But that's not right because remember for lunch, or well my breakfast, I had tropical smoothie and you remember all that cheese and Parmesan cheese and the bacon pieces that I removed out. That was probably around 15 to 20, like that could have easily been 15 to 20 grams of fat. So um, I did a pretty good job of hitting my macros today. Um, I was only, I mean, I was off carbs for about 11 grams, but then again, if you think about it, since I went out to eat the 11 grams and Removing all that cheese can like sort of balance. It's like 
it like balances out at the end. So yeah, that's my day of eating guys. It's, it's really random. Until next time guys, probably the next time I will be checking in with my coach. I'll let you guys know what he says about my progress so far. Um, love all the positive vibes you guys are giving me back. I'll take you guys along the journey of the cut and the business because I know you guys like the you guys really like the business aspect aspect of my life. So, all right, guys, I'm out.